It's over, Alexei. Is this the top of Zauda? Is that the core? It's so big! continued the analysis this whole time? We will witness together the might of Zaude. That is the power of Zaude. No, but I thought this cannot be. The Arafagos? Did you use that much air? No. This catastrophe has always waited there. Wh what do you mean? The Arafagos was never eliminated. It was just sealed off far from sight. Yes, and now it has returned to spread the ruin it once rained down upon the ancients. And to think, I caused it all! The ultimate irony! <laughs> you mean Zauda had been holding it back this entire time? Look out! We were never more than worms writhing before an approaching storm. The time has come, our death draws near. No one can escape its doom. <laughs> Shut up already, you bastard. <laughs> It seems in the end that I <laughs> was the greatest fool of all. over there somewhere. The Autophagos disappeared into the void. Yeah, well, guess they didn't really say they destroyed that thing. They just went off and left this piece of crap remnant behind. Uh, Flynn?
my room. Why? Didn't think she hated me this much. Oh. <sighs> Huh? The child of the full moon. The leaders of the ancients possessed an innate power and were called the children of the full moon. The shrine of Zaude received their lives and power. It sealed the autophagus away, saving the world. <laughs> you have awakened. Duke, so it was you who saved me. I couldn't afford to have this sword lost to the sea forever. Okay. I still owe you my thanks. So the Shrine of Zaude was powered by the lives of the children of the full moon? Humans brought forth the Autophagos and led it. Consider it atonement. The few remaining children of the full moon, together with the Antilochea, decided on how the world would be. The Imperial family are their descendants. So that's how the Empire started. And that's why that sword, the key to Zaude, will prove a true Emperor. As long as air is used, no one can oppose the Autophagos, for it is born of air itself. You wanted to stop the Autophagos, too. That's why you were going around calming all the air crinae, right? Correct. Why didn't you ask for help from the Empire or the Guilds? You could have stopped Alexei if you'd done that. I have aligned myself with the Entelikea. I have no intention of coexisting with humanity. What's more, the masses of humanity will never come to any accord. So, what are you trying to do? The Autophagos was too much, even for that ancient civilization. There is a way. You say you despise humanity, but what about us? Aren't we human? Why did you give me De Nomos? Why did you cooperate? You were the only ones who even attempted to communicate with the Entelechea. That is why. Never mind, it is done. Wait, what are you gonna do? I will protect our world, our Terka Lumeres. Hold on! Ugh. Damn it! Handed over Dane Nomos. And my only words in this episode is goodbye, because I'm going to end this off here. Check. Ooh, apple gel. That'll be handy, because I'm almost out of all these items and everything. Anyways, we just have to head out and find people, but until then, I'm going to just do that next time. See you guys then!